So this video is me working through the answers to my Kahoot quiz on angles. So I suggest you make sure you've um, actually had a go at the quiz itself before you watch this video. So just follow the link in the, in the description below. So 19 questions to work through. Question one, now for the first three here, we've just got to write down the name of types of angles. So here, we uh, angle X is a small little angle between naught and 90 degrees. These small angles are called acute angles. So just think of it as being acute little, sweet little uh, angle. So small angles are acute angles. Now secondly, we're going to be looking to work out angle Y. Now, angle Y is over 90 degrees, but less than 180. So it's, a, it's bigger than a um, bigger than a right angle, but less than a straight line. Now, these are called obtuse angles. So that's obtuse. And then the third type of angle. This is when you go over 180 degrees. So something like angle Z here. So going round from here, you go past 180. So these really big angles are called reflex angles. So sort of focus on the flex bit. Think of it as being very flexible, very bendy. You can sort of bend beyond 180 degrees. So angles over 180 degrees are reflex angles. So what question four, what do angles on a straight line total? We'll just learn that these total 180 degrees. What do the angles in a triangle add up to? Well, again, another one you've just got to learn. Angles in a triangle total 180 degrees. And a quadrilateral. Remember, a quadrilateral is a four-sided shape. So that really comprises two triangles, so two lots of 180 degrees, so 360 degrees. Angles in a quadrilateral total 360 degrees. What do the angles about a point total? So think of a complete turn all the way around. That angle totals 360 degrees. So a few little questions to work our way through to practice these skills. So angle X. Well, we can see that X plus 30 together total a straight line. Well, angles on a straight line add up to 180. So 180 take away 30 is 150 degrees. Question 9, what is the size of angle Y? Well, here we've got a triangle. Angles in the triangle add up to 180 degrees. So these three together add up to 180. 60 add 70 is 130. 180 take away 130 is 50 degrees. Question 10. So now we've got to work out the size of, of angle Z. Now Z is inside a quadrilateral, a four-sided shape. Now we know the angles of these total 360, so these four together must add up to 360. 80 add 100 is 180. Add another 110 is 290. 360 take away 290 is 70 degrees. So the other three three sides total 290 so it's got to be 70 degrees and then finally what is the size of angle W well angles about a point so angles all the way around total 360 degrees 100 out of 120 is 220 360 taking away from 220 is 140. So 140 degrees because angles about a point total 360. Now angle X equals 100 degrees because Y. Right, so why is X 100 degrees? So why is X the same as this 100 here? We've got parallel lines. So this is the F angle rule. Think of a capital F on a slant here, looking like this. So these two angles inside the F are the same. 
Now, the F, so what is the proper name for the F angle rule? Well, that is corresponding angles are equal. Think of it this as, as if you're looking above and these straight lines are fences and these are two people sitting down. These two people have got the same view. They've got the corresponding view. So F angle rule, corresponding angles are equal. Okay, question 13. And now we're now going to be looking at the Z angle rule. So here, think of the Z looking like this, along, down, and along. These angles are equal. Uh, so it's the Z angle rule, and the Z angle rule, alternate angles are equal. Again, think of it as looking down from above. These people have got alternative views. This person would be looking to the left this person would be looking to the right. So alternate angles are equal is the Z angle rule. Now, the most precise reason why, angles, why, why angle Z is 120 degrees. Now that is the opposite angle. So the temptation is to say opposite angles are equal. And in the olden days, you used to get away with just saying that. But now, we've got to be more precise. We've got to make it clear that vertically opposite angles are equal. Vertically opposite angles are equal. Because it's, it's, it's uh, I think the danger was that people might think that this is kind of opposite because it's the other side of the line. So vertically opposite angles are equal, so you must go for the red angle on, 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 as I'm doing it. Question 15. Again, I want the precise reason why angle W is... Um, is 70 degrees. Now, what we've got here, we've got these two little dashes here. This is telling us that it's an isosceles triangle where two sides are the same, but also the base angles are the same. Okay, the base angles are the same. Now, we know the angles in a triangle add up to 180, so these two together must add up to 140, being 180 take away 40. But the reason we can split that angle evenly between the two, in other words, why these two are the same, is because base angles of an, of a, of an isosceles triangle are equal. So base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal, so it's the blue answers. Right, now what is angle X called? So it's this angle on the outside of the shape well, the 120 degrees is the interior angle. Now, if you extend the line, extend the side, to cre you're creating what's called the exterior angle. So this is called the exterior angle. It is the angle on the outside, but it's called the exterior angle. So, carrying on using the same diagram, Let's work out the size of this exterior angle. Well, we can see that they, they form a straight line. So 120 plus X must equal 180 because angles on a straight line add up to 180. So X must be 60 degrees because angles on a straight line total 180 degrees. Now, what rule can we derive from this? Well, we've just said that these two angles together form 180 degrees because they're on a straight line. So this is the interior angle. This is the exterior angle. So we know that the interior angle added together with the exterior angle must equal 180 degrees. So interior angle plus exterior angle totals 180 degrees. So 19. Now, all I've done here, I've just extended things further. So just think of all of these lines um, just coming down, f f uh, extending each of these lines. So we've got all of these exterior angles here. Now think of this as like the launch pad of a rocket looking from above. And this is was when, when you're quite close to the ground. Now when you look from much higher up, the, really this hexagon is just turned into a dot but we're left with all of these exterior angles here. So can you see that all of these exterior angles together 
form a circle. They're, they're the angles about a point. So what we can derive from this is that the total of all the exterior angles must equal 360 degrees derived from the fact that angles about a point uh, total 360. So total of exterior angles 360.